Hello, thank you for coming back to my English pe <laughs> my English paper piecing vlog. So I finished all my Kona whites sets of two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And those six are gonna go around here. And so I'm just, since this was my first flower, I'm gonna start with this one. Um, and I do know that some of you asked me um, how you take out the paper. Um, and the way I do that is I like to do one of two things. I like to use an iron and melt the glue. So I'll melt my seam. And then when the paper's like really hot, pop it out. Um, I have heard, I believe that that might be um, water soluble. So I think if you get the seam wet, it'll dissolve the, the glue. So I am going to start by taking two and we're going to sew like that. So first going to fold this way and sew that seam, <clears throat> excuse me. And then for this one, we're actually, this is going to start three. So we're going to go stitch, 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 and then the next one's going to be four. So it'll be stitch, 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 and then four all the way around. Um, I'm definitely going to be using my thread conditioner. Um, I want to use just like one string of thread per set so I don't have to keep putting knots all throughout. Um, but yeah, so with this flower specifically, I am going to take out the middle one. Um, you, something that you always want to remember is you want the paper in while you're stitching. And so the only one that's not gonna be touched is this middle one. So if I take this middle one out, it could help. Um, Cause then I could kind of like crunch it up a little more. Oh, and look, it actually just started popping out. <laughs> yeah, it, it heard me saying it and it's like, yeah, yeah, we, we can come out, that's fine. <laughs> Let me flip you around so you can see this process. Okay, so it already started popping out. So what I do is I like to hold my finger on my, my stitches and just gently pull. And this is without heat or water. Because sometimes when you stitch, you get the paper. So that's why I push down just in case it doesn't pull out my, my lovely stitches. And then since this was just glued, you can just go whoop and just peel it off like a, like a sticker backing or whatever. And this guy is in there. There you go. Pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. All right. So let's pretty up the space. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Oh, you're falling. Falling. All right, so get my set ready. Don't need that. Did you guys get yourself your needle minders? Did you get one yet? I'm telling you, this magnet is so strong. My gosh, this. it's a strong magnet. All right, and we're definitely gonna need some clips this go around. All right. <sighs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. And now I finally have some time to do it. I cannot wait to see what this ends up looking like. Got to get a needle miner, guys. <laughs> You'll never lose another needle.
<laughs> oh, so we're almost there and I cut the string short just because I was a little frustrated because I only had like that one, one side left to do. Because <laughs> it's so short, it just keeps unthreading itself. So I'm just like, I'm just going to turn you around so I can talk to you. We can just complain about something like that. So <clears throat> when you have your big flower, the nice part about having this part removed is you can always crunch it together and it doesn't hurt. But just, you know, a warning to anybody who might have like arthritis or wrist pain, this part is the most painful because you're constantly trying to pinch fabric with paper together um, in order to get the stitches. So um, I would recommend if you do have wrist problems to just take your time, go slow, um, make sure you ice or heat as needed. Um, I, I don't have arthritis, but I have a job where I type a lot and I use the mouse a lot. So kind of have, you know, just like this pain, <laughs> you know, so just I guess trigger warning. Is that a trigger warning? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to work on getting all the rest of these around. If I encounter another issue of like wrapping, I, I'm anticipating once I get to like the final one, I'm going to have all the flower in. So I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, I'm it again. Bring you guys back in when that happens and I'll show you what, um, what that part, what my first flower with the white border looks like. And um, then I think, I think my plan is, what's my plan? My plan is to put the white around all my flowers. And even then I think I still need to make some more flowers. <laughs> yeah, I have to make more flowers, put white around every single flower, and then I'm gonna cut the green fabric, glue base the green fabric, and then start piecing all the flowers together. We're gonna do it. I am recording this on February 24th. And yes, I'm all decorated for St. Patrick's Day. I'm uh, a lot Irish. Got a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of Irish heritage in my, in my blood. Um, when I got my DNA results back from Ancestry. <laughs> Hold on, what happened here? That's comical. I'm gonna tie those in a knot and then cut it. Um, but when I got my um, DNA results back from Ancestry.com, um, I always knew that I had like English and, and Scottish and Dutch in my blood. But turns out I have something like 43% Scottish and 20% Irish. Or maybe I have it to backwards. I think I've got it backwards. I can't think when I'm talking. Um, what am I saying? I'm 40% European. That's what it is. 25 something like that percent Scottish and 14% Irish. And I'm throwing my scissors. But yeah, I like to celebrate every holiday. Um, all right, I am just gonna finish this quarter inch and um, You'll see me back when all the white is around or if I encounter a problem that I want to share with you guys. So thanks again for joining me on this EPP blog and um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're starting off on your journey. If you have any more questions like glue basting or ripping out the papers um, or just any, any tips that you're interested in knowing, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So please um, just shoot me a message in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, hit the bell so that way you know that you're notified or you get notified anytime I post a new video. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time on the next time I touch base. Uh, I have been making a lot of masks lately. This is my latest mask. It matches my everything. <laughs> and if I wanted, I always make them double-sided. So if I'm feeling dark, the only problem is I wear makeup, so I get like the, <laughs> so I think I'm stuck doing this, but see how it matches? This is um, Andover, um, I did this with our fabric, I love it. But yeah, I've been busy doing that, so I haven't had a lot of time for my EVP, but I'll keep you posted. Thanks guys, bye.